We have on Richard Rodriguez, former owner of WFN and Iron Addicts Gin Miami. He's coming from the federal prison in Brooklyn, New York. And Richard, a lot has happened since the last time you were on. Mark Wahlberg, Roman Reigns, and Josh Duhamel. In the past, you've always released evidence directly taken from the WFN database in Shopify. Do you have any evidence backing up your current claims? Yes. What people need to understand is that everyone that I have disclosed to this day have usually sank their own ship with cover-ups and lies instead of coming clean. It's not any different with Mark Roman or Josh. Those that know me praise me for my honesty and integrity. And that speaks volumes in the industry um, that's full of fake nighties, liars, informants, and rats. Two of these individuals, you know, worked on a film together. Um, and that's where um, they started some protocols of various, of my, uh, of various products that I used to sell. Another one was introduced to me by a text message by another wrestler and a wrestling enthusiast. And we kept communicating via those channels to, you know, for, a, you know, for a period of time as he was a um, client of mine. That information, yeah. that information with respect to, uh, with respect to, you know, they film together and the, and, and the, and the, and us communicating by, with, with Roman via text messages, will be eventually provided to the appropriate party, which will then be disclosed, um, prior to our documentary that's going to be filmed soon. All right. So you have communication via text to these various clients that you named, which includes Josh Duhamel, Mark and Roman Reigns. What we do, what, we'll, what I will be providing in the next week or so is actually snippets of proof that will be, um, that, you know, evolving the appropriate parties. It will be text messages, tracking numbers, even addresses where products were shipped to film locations in London and other and other areas that directly can be tied to, um, to each one of these individuals. Okay. So, and you talked about releasing the evidence next week. Correct. Okay. Um I, obviously, you're in jail, so you haven't heard the recent statements, but they all came out making the exact same statement that they don't know who you are. What do you have to say about that? Well, you know, with respect to the backlash, that's expected, you know, given the popularity of these individuals. Imagine how much more will evolve when we disclose, you know, former governors, presidential advisors, higher profile celebrities and boxers and MMA fighters and NBA and NFL players, you know, that, you know, that, that were clients. They're just trying to, um, unfortunately, cover their ass. Um, and, and, and that's typical. I mean, you've seen it with Mark, you've seen it with Mike, you've seen it with pretty much everyone. And I wouldn't have suspected any less from you know from them and, and 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 the others that will eventually be disclosed all right let me ask you a question there's been a lot of questions asked about the timetable of when these people were your clients can you talk a little bit about that if you remember yeah um one of them obviously let's let's, let's look at josh Van Hamel, for example um josh has been a client for, uh, for well over a couple of years um a Roman was introduced to me um, a couple of years ago, and sporadically, given the um, varied um, times in which um, WWE wrestlers get tested, um, oftentimes his, um, his protocols changed. Uh, with respect to Mark, um, it was more about having um, protocols shipped to him specifically for movie preparation or during um, or during some of his films. 
um, in which he was um, in which he would be filming either overseas or some or, or somewhere in, within the U.S. Okay. A lot of people were saying, uh, you know, was it around 2014, 2015? They were being specific on, on one particular year of Mark Wahlberg. Do you have any information on that? Um, when was Transformers uh, um, um, released? Oh, you remember what actual film it was used on. It wasn't Pain and Gain because there's a lot of speculation that it was on the film Pain and Gain. No, Pain and Gain, um, Pain and Gain I wasn't interested in. Yes, that way I believe it was 2013. I don't think you were uh, WFN. I don't think existed back in that that time. Um, now, Richard, you know, there's been a lot of backlash because of the names you released, and there's been a lot of confusion as to why you released the names you did. And you've talked about it before. Can you elaborate a little bit more to help people understand that you weren't just picking names out of a hat? Yes, there are a lot of loose ends on my case that has yet to be public information, also subjects people's details that will be revealed in the documentary and other channels, which may be back to the reasoning behind disclosing these names that I have thus far. Fortunate enough, due to the active participation of my followers and your and your listeners and your resilience um, on, on, this, on this case and my persistence, a newly revised plea deal evolved that I gladly accepted as of, um, yes, as, as of yesterday. This is the reasoning for um, being able to. Uh, is a, this is the reasoning for not being able to reveal more specifically until the approval from my attorney, um, Richard. But as you can read between the lines, the majority of these names, um, there is a purpose. Okay. You know, for, for these, and fortunately enough, uh, you know, it's like one of those um, one of those reasonings. Um, was achieved to get a better plea deal. Okay, so mentioning the names that you did actually affected your plea deal. Correct, because it enabled me to actually exemplify that I have, that I possess the media firepower that the feds um, assume that they also possess. Okay, so then that means by saying that there's other names that could even be bigger names that you won't release because they don't affect your case. It doesn't mean that we won't re release them in the documentary. Um, okay. And or or so on on our film. Okay. You know, in the process of negotiating, um, I think I think that it's really more of a matter of being selective with who we who we choose to disclose now to kind of give individuals an idea of what our capabilities are to build suspense and 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 show them that you know this is much larger than than what people assumed. I've had reporters telling me, it's like, oh, well, you weren't as big as Baco. I was like, on the contrary, I was much larger. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So, and, and, you know, so the, however, there's been a lot of conspiracies and, and, and issues relevant to my case that has unfortunately um, kept, it in the, kept it in the dark. Now, you not being, you know, from that. No, I, uh, sorry to cut you off, but um, I was going to ask you, so going back to what you were saying, there are athletes from other major sports. Let's call it from a federal prison. There are, what? I'm sorry? There are uh, other athletes from other uh, professional sports that were clients of yours as well, correct? Correct. Boxers, MMA fighters, NFL, and NBA players. Okay. All right. So before I let you go, because I know your minutes uh, are, are, are running out, I'm going to give you five names, and I want you to describe them the best you can with one word. All right? All right, the first one, Mark Lobliner. Right. Mike Rashid. Piece of shit. <laughs> C.T. Fletcher. Amazing person. Very nice. Flex Wheeler. Informant and also a rat. Wow. And one last one, ready? Before I let you go. Donald Trump. <laughs> Everyone's talking about Donald Trump every day of, of, on the news, so I had to ask that question. Uh, Donald Trump relevant to, um, to my case. Uh, um, no comment. Uh, Donald Trump in general. I honestly don't think he's doing a bad job. However, um, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that I don't know Trump secrets. And skeletons in the closet for some of his top advisors, though. Okay, well, we'll leave you at that, Richard. Thank you so much for coming on. And we're going to be looking for that evidence 
being released next week, and I'll I'll put out some more details regarding that. All right. No worries. Take care, and it was great talking to you. You too, Richard. Be safe in jail. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye.